Hey there, fellows. So without further ado, I suggest we get right to the point of this wonderful life hack. You're probably aware that we reside next to a steep hill. And here we have some metal mesh. Ooh, wire mesh, or whatever you want to call it. So here it is, and it can be pretty useful. Like, when your car gets stuck, you can put this underneath the driven wheels, and provide a bit of extra traction for it to get out. Now why don't we try deflating a tire, sticking this on, securing it, putting air back into the tire to make sure this doesn't slip off, and seeing how the car moves with wheels wrapped in metal mesh. Okay, let's set this all up and go do some testing. Let's do this. Do you enjoy sports cars, racing, and pretty girls? Well, then hit the link and subscribe to our new YouTube channel, Drift Taxi 54 where we take ladies for rides in six sports cars. We are currently filming new episodes in sunny Thailand. So make sure to keep up with this juicy content and subscribe to the channel by following the link in the description. Metal mesh wrapped wheels, will it improve traction? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, check it out. We've welded everything up, we're looking good. Now, we were thinking about using hooks initially, and though that would have been quick and convenient, there's still the risk that we'll run over a rock or something else and everything will fall apart. Wouldn't be the most reliable solution. And so we've welded them. We've got one ring for each side. And so now, we, in order to install them, we have to get a jack, an air pump, and have loads of desire to make it out of wherever we get stuck. So let's throw these on and try driving out of here. Let's do this. Tremendous. It's slipping off. So check this out. We put them on, started driving, and we're doing all right until the mesh started slipping to one side. We've now welded a bit of rebar to both of them in order to prevent them from slipping. And now we're about to see. Now the question is, will they slip the other way? I'm curious to find out. But we won't until we drive around. So let's do that, see how well it sets off uphill, and just see what the situation is with traction. Here we go. Taking it easy. They seem to be hitting something. Let's try ascending the hill now. It sets off rather... We are moving. Fantastic. This is pretty good. We have decent grip. Okay. 
It seems like... The rebar rubbing... tells me the wheels aren't spinning. Let me roll back... to the steepest part. No? <laughs> There's the wheel spin, a lot of it. Well, obviously I'm gonna dig a hole. Those are some serious holes. Not bad at all. Nice. I found a bit of grip. And now the engine is having a difficult time. Why is that? Well, I mean, obviously it'll get going with such aggressive tread. Come on now. Hey, it is making it up. And quite confidently. I'd better go for a drive. I'll take it easy, no need to rush. There's no point. And you really shouldn't with these sorts of mods. So we'll go slow. Nope. Right into the soft snow. And it looks like that's a wrap. We are stuck. Snow on the manifold. We are in trouble. Look at how deep it dug in, holy cow. I didn't even think it could dig itself in that deep. Isn't that something? We were... unable to make it out without the help of another vehicle. No worries, I guess. We couldn't conquer the really deep snow, but that's not the end of the world. I think we can try flipping around right here. Ain't having it. It's very happy to drive forward, though. Must be in the mesh weave. We fitted these in such a way as for them to grip well... ...with the wheels rotating forward. And the traction seems to be really impressive. I mean, this time I am seriously stuck. The rear axle jumped over the snow somehow, and the car is on its belly. Or crying out loud. Okay, now we're moving. Excellent. Yeah, it doesn't move well over the fluff. The reason being... It digs in hard and goes down real deep. Which is not ideal. Come on now. So these work, it's all good, but the difficult part is installing them. You need to get the car on a jack, which is something you wouldn't do when fitting chains. That said, it's not a terrible inconvenience when you need to power out of a mud or snow trap. Anyway guys, this worked quite well I'd say. 
The experiment has been a success. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.